dalawang types na ginamit natin sa pag uh, sagot ng conditional probability. Alam natin na ang formula ng probability of B given A is equal to probability of A and B all over P of A. Ngayon, um, ang suggestion ko kapag ka meron kayong table or this type of example na kung saan nasa table or tabular form yung iyong um, mga conditional probability questions, huwag kayong masyadong uh, ma-intimidate sa formula kasi it's all about technique and uh, looking for patterns. So itong aking table, um, yung daw mga bata from six, grade 6 to 8th grade ay may mga favorite uh, winter sports. So ito yung mga bata na mahilig sa snowboarding, skiing, and skating. Tapos, kinuha nila yung mga sample from 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. So looking at your table, gagamitin natin tong table na to at sasagutin natin tong mga Conditional probability question na to, base dun sa table. So sa unang tanong, what is the probability of selecting a student whose favorite sport is skiing? Mule, wag kayong masyadong ma-intimidate sa question. It's all about um, pattern. At ang pattern dito, yung unang sinabi, what is the probability of selecting a student? So yung student, ang mga students may is 545. So, mag-focus ka agad doon sa 545 because ito yung sample space nyo. So, pagka nagsasagot ako ng problem na to, lagi kong kinukuha yung fraction at sinusulat ko agad yung sample space, which is 545. Now, ang sabi dito eh, whose favorite sport is skiing, tapos ang mga, ang pag-focus ka naman ngayon ay yung mga batang naglalaro ng, or may favorite sport na, na or ski yung pag-favorite sport nila. So, 171 na bata yun, kaya... To, to answer that conditional probability, it's going to be 171 over 545. Kaya sa number 2, using that technique, what is the probability of selecting a 6th grader? So, walang sinabi dito kung uh, hindi naman, walang restriction. So, 545, lahat ng mga estudyante yan. Tapos, ano daw probability na 6th grade yung makukuha nyo? So, ang total na 6th grade is 155. So, it's simply 155 all over 545. So, yun yung sagot sa pangalawa. Sa pangatlo naman, if the student selected is a 7th grader, so 7th grader, mag-focus ka na agad sa total students na 7th grader, which is 210, at, at gawin mo na itong sample space mo. So, isulat mo na agad siya as your denominator. So, again, if the student selected is 7th grader, what is the probability that the students prefer skating? So, ano ba yung mga 7th grader na nagusto na ng skating? 70 students yon. Kaya, to answer um, problem number 3, it's basically 70 all over 210. At sa pang-apat naman, if the student selected prefers snowboarding, snowboarding, ito yung mga total ng students mo na mahilig ng snowboarding, what is the probability that the student is a 6th grader? So, snowboarding at 6th grader, so 68 over 211. So, yun yung probability mo. And for number 5, if the student selected is an 8th grader, 8th grader, 180, so ito na yung iyong sample space, what is the probability that he prefers skiing or skating? So, independent naman itong mga um, bata na to na namimili ng skating or skiing, kaya pwede mong gamitin yung addition rule of independent events. Kaya 74 yung mahilig sa skiing, 47 naman yung mahilig sa skating, so add them together all over 180, ito yung iyong probability um, answer. So, yan yung paggamit ng table sa pag-answer ng mga conditional probability. So, it takes practice. Tapos, tandaan nyo lang yung uh, technique na sinabi ko. Yung unang nabanggit, yun agad yung sample space nyo. And then, tingnan nyo na lang yung um, numerator mo, which is probability of A and B. So, kuha pa tayo ng pangalawang examples para mas makuha nyo yung uh, concept ng conditional probability using table. So, sa problem set naman natin na to, meron daw tayong simple random sample of 100 people na tinanong kung uh, nagsisigarilyo sila. At ito yung table of 
uh, 100 people na tinanong natin. So, merong male, may female, mga nagsasmoke, at mga hindi naman nagsasmoke. At ito yung mga totals nila. So, yung first question, what is the probability that the individual is selected is a male smoker? So, individual, so lahat yan, ng, ang sample space mo will be all the individuals regardless of their gender. So, 100 yan. Pero yung uh, focus mo in, uh, na pipiliin is a male smoker. So, male na nagsusmoke, so 19. So, it's gonna be 19 out of 100. At for number 2, what is the probability that the individual, so, uh, random selecting pa rin, regardless of the gender, so 100 yung sample space mo, and uh, tanong dito, na mapipili mo raw, eh, lalaki. So, dito, ang total of male participants mo sa survey is 60. So, ang answer mo sa number 2 is 60 over 100. And for number three, what is the probability of a random or a randomly selected individual, so individual ulit, 100, is smoking. So yung smoking, hindi naman sinabi kong babae o lalaki, so ang total ng mga nagsasmoke is 31, kaya 31 out of 100. At for, for number four, what is the probability of a male, so focus ka ngayon sa male, which is 60, so ito na yung sample space mo, what is the probability of a male who smokes? So, 19 out of 60. So, 19 out of 60. At sa number 5, what is the probability that the selected smoker, smoker, ang mga smoker, eh, nandi rito, so 31 yung mga smoker, at lalaki siya. So, 19 out of 31. So, yan yung conditional probability mo. So, ganyan ang pagsagot ng uh, conditional probability using a table. Madali lang siya kung alam nyo yung technique. So, huwag kayo ma-intimidate doon sa big formula na ginagamit natin kasi madali lang mag-sagot ng mga conditional probability when it's in table form.